to cooking with Chef Dama. For all you spinach lovers out there, I have got the perfect dish for you. My mother used to make this dish as I grew up in Bombay and I absolutely love the combination of spinach and meat. And I have this fantastic dish I'm going to make which combines spinach with lamb that has been cooked for hours and hours to its absolutely fork tender. I'm going to make lamb sal. It's an absolutely delicious dish. The combination of spinach and lamb together, it's phenomenal. So today, it's lamb sog, and without any further ado, let's cook! Alright, first, let's talk meat. Here I have this fantastic cubed stewing lamb. It's already come pre-cut in the package it's ready to go. Now if you don't get stewing lamb at your grocery store, if you can find a leg of lamb that's boneless, get that and cut it into cubes yourself. That's the next best alternative. Now let's get started and let's prepare a quick marinade for the lamb. In a non-reactive glass bowl, we combine some kosher salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder, ginger paste, garlic paste, and some yogurt. Greek style is preferable. I've got all the ingredients together. Now let's mix it up. marinade is done, I'm going to leave the lamb aside. 30 minutes is good. If you can keep it overnight, it's even better. And now we got to get our vegetables together. Of course, we got to start with the cornerstone of almost every Indian curry, and that is onions. I'm using red onions for this preparation. I just love the flavor of red onions in a curry. Chop the onions as fine as possible. Next, we finally mince a serrano chili or a couple of Thai chilies. And if you want the curry really spicy, leave the seeds in. And now we assemble the garam masala. Cinnamon, cardamom, some bay leaves, cloves, whole peppercorns, and cumin. Next, we're gonna need to chop up some tomatoes. I've got these beautiful Tomatoes that are growing on the vine. The flavors are fantastic. These are the ones I love using in my curries. Roughly chop the tomatoes. And finally, keep prepared with washed, rinsed, and dried baby spinach leaves. We're all done. Now it's time to start cooking the lamb. Let's move to the stove. Now when making lamb sog, or any curry for that matter, what you need is a vessel with a really nice heavy bottom. This causes the heat to diffuse and prevents the dish from burning. Remember, when you're making a curry, you're going to be frying your onions and cooking your masalas for a very, very long time. And this is absolutely essential to make a really good curry. Crank your heat up to high and heat up some oil or some ghee in your pan. Adding spices to hot oil is an essential part. What happens as soon as the spice comes in contact with the hot oil, the volatile acids which contain all the flavor in the spice explode in that hot medium, flavoring and perfuming the oil and that flavor is then transferred over to the rest of the dish, making it fantastic. After sauteing the spices for about 30 seconds, we now add the onions. This we're going to stir and cook till golden brown. Making a good base for a curry is an absolute art. And the most essential thing about that is frying the onions properly. You cannot hasten this process. You've got to fry it down so that the onions actually break down into a pulp. You want the heat 
to denature the onions till it becomes an absolute pulp. Now that we've achieved golden brown stage, it's time to add some ginger paste, some garlic paste, and the chopped green chilies. You will notice that the pastes and the onions are now going to stick to the bottom of the pan. This we dislodge with the addition of cold water and constant stirring. This is an essential part in making a good base for a curry. There's nothing worse in a curry than having bits of onions reflected in it. It shows that your onions are not properly cooked and your curry is not going to taste right. After about 10 minutes we have achieved a paste like consistency and now it's time to add the meat, marinate and all. I now dissolve the rest of the marinade with a little bit of water and that becomes my cooking liquid. Make sure that the lamb is completely covered with the cooking liquid, cover and allow to simmer for about 45 minutes. It's now time to add the tomatoes. Now if you notice we always add tomatoes when cooking meat at the latter part of the stage, usually when doing red meats because red meats do take a long time to cook and tomatoes tend to retard the coagulation of the meat protein. Mix well and cook till the tomatoes break down and start to thicken the curry. It's time to add the baby spinach. We don't want to overcook the baby spinach, all it needs is a couple of minutes we want to maintain its freshness and all its nutrients which tend to leach out if you overcook spinach. Finally, a sprinkling of kasuri methi and garam masala powder. We are done! There you have it. Wonderful, delicious lamb sal. The cubes of lamb are cooked down till they're fork tender and delicious. Combine this with basmati rice, or rotis, or naans, or any Indian bread, it's going to be a fantastic feast. Hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I really hope you're going to give it a try. This is Chef Dama signing out, wishing one and all, happy eating.